Hi everybody, Susanna here, Careers Advisor. Uh, great to see you as always. Today we're going to talk about creating a LinkedIn profile. So I'd like to share my screen with you and we'll get started on PowerPoint presentation. All right, so let's have a look at what we're going to cover today. So we'll look at what a LinkedIn profile is. We'll look at the benefits of a LinkedIn profile and we'll look at how to actually create a LinkedIn profile. So here's an example of someone that's actually got a LinkedIn profile. So you can see some information about the student uh, and a, um, a professional looking photo. So what is LinkedIn? So it's actually the world's largest professional network. It has hundreds of millions of members and it's growing. The aim or mission or goal of LinkedIn is to connect all of the world's professionals and make them more successful and productive. All right, so let's look at how LinkedIn can help you. So LinkedIn builds and maintains a network. Uh, it establishes a professional profile and builds your career or personal brand. It helps you find and connect with colleagues within your organisation or um, external to your organisation. And it also helps you find and connect with friends and classmates. The platform also helps you discover new jobs. So it can be used as an employment website because jobs are definitely posted on LinkedIn. And there's recruiters out there uh, that are actually looking through LinkedIn profiles see, to see if they can find suitable applicants to fill their vacant positions. So there's mutual benefit for you and also benefits for the recruiters. LinkedIn can also help you research and learn from other professionals in different LinkedIn groups. It's important to build your individual career brand and your story on LinkedIn, because uh, it will definitely um, provide you with a big advantage for your career development. Okay, so I'm going to now um, show you a video um, on how to, on the importance of LinkedIn. So let me just pause there. Hi, welcome back. So what I'm going to show you now is uh, a very short video on LinkedIn for students. Watching this, chances are good you want to get a job. You want to go from student to rising star, and you want to avoid eating the same meal over and over and over again. Good news, you're in the right place. That's right, LinkedIn. It's not just for top executives. It's not just for old people with heavy briefcases. It's for you, and it's the perfect place for you to start your professional story. Say you want to get a job in New York City. You've never been there before, but that's okay because you have LinkedIn on your side. You start by creating your profile. You give it love because you know it's what recruiters are looking for day and night. It's your resume that never sleeps. It's your flashing neon sign that says, hire me, hire me, for the love of all that is good in this world, hire me. Then you start making connections. Alumni working in New York? Yes. Recruiters at top companies in New York? Yes. Your mom's best friend? Yes. You start imagining whose shoes you want to walk in. You think, wow, this is a lot of deep stuff to consider. You shake yourself out of it and start searching for jobs. Whoa, that's a lot of jobs for students. Time to get down to business. You start to tailor your profile. You start applying. You feel empowered and control, like you should be CEO. That gives you an idea. You look up all the CEOs of all the companies you want to work at. You see one of them went to your university. Then it hits you. You see a clear path from campus to career. You feel like you can see the future. You wonder if you're psychic. Should you start a hotline? No, no, back to plan A. You keep tailoring and connecting and applying, and before you know it, you start getting responses. First a few, then more, then an interview, and then you're hired. And that's when the real learning begins.
Okay, so you can see the importance of LinkedIn. Um, I've got another video to show you. This is the top five. Hi, Linda Rayner of LindaRayner.com, career strategist, speaker, and coach. Take a picture, not just any picture. No, not that one. More like these. Yes, that's the one. Number two, write a good headline. Just tell us who you are and what you want to do in 120 characters or less. Yeah, I like that. Remember, nothing too personal, nothing too clever. Number three, tell us about your education. What's your major? What classes did you take? What skills did you develop? C++, art history, Portuguese history, quantum thermodynamics? Yes, put those. Number four, list your experience. Give us your organizations, your achievements, your honors. President of the International Club? Yes. Volunteer building houses? Yes. Invented a cat toy? Um, yeah, sure, that counts. Number five, get recommendations. Prove you've got what it takes. Get managers, mentors, and professors to post something that says, this person is smart, hardworking, good-natured, and well-rounded, or something like that. And then you're done. You shout, this is me! You do a celebration dance. You feel good. You stand out. You know you're on your way, because there are jobs to be found and recruiters looking to find you as you watch this. That's right, right now, this very second. What are you waiting for? Go, find, be found. Okay, so let's just go back to the PowerPoint presentation and, and have a look at the following. So, the power of LinkedIn. All right, let's just enlarge this. So, you can see there, and these figures probably have uh, changed since this was put together, 9 million Australian users, 467 million total users, uh, I can see 39 million recent graduates and students. Uh, the geographical reach of LinkedIn is in excess of 200 countries. Uh, it's just quite phenomenal at how far reaching LinkedIn is and how powerful it is. All right, so let's go back to the basics when setting up a LinkedIn profile. First point, whatever email address you use, make sure it's one that you check often. Include your current employment status. So for instance, if you are a student, uh, you could say, and be honest, student seeking employment opportunities. You might be looking for a part-time or casual job, for instance. Um, add a professional and clear headshot photo. And that's really, really important because whoever sees your professional clear headshot photo is going to form an impression about you after seeing that photo. So please make sure it is appropriate that it does look professional and that it is from shoulders up. Uh, include all relevant experience with the most current first. So I guess some of the rules that apply to a resume uh, apply to your LinkedIn profile. And I guess when you look at it, your LinkedIn profile is to a fair extent a resume. The headline matters. All right, it's an excellent chance to make a terrific first impression. So whatever you put in your headline, try and say as much as possible in as few words as possible. Make sure it's interesting so it gets the person interested in you. They wanna find out more. Again, it's a bit like a resume. So here are some examples of headlines uh, for students that have you know are graduating or about to graduate so communications and media studies student right? so it identifies immediately what area the student is actually studying graduating 2021 so that next year obviously and 
when are they, what are they seeking? They're seeking challenging employment opportunities. Right? So again, a lot's been said in few words. The second headline, accounting intern at award-winning startup. Right? So this person is currently working at a startup company. They're an accounting intern. And they graduated 2020. Right? So again, emphasizing that try and say as much as possible in as few words as possible. And your headline may very well change uh, as you progress into your career. After the headline, once you've got your professional photo, you've got your headline, then you need to think about your summary. So writing a summary is not necessarily easy. Uh, you need to spend time doing this and do it well. So it's worth putting the time and effort into getting this right. Here are a few points to keep in mind when writing the best possible summary, hopefully to attract the most attention. Don't be afraid to show your personality. Right? People uh, like recruiters like to see your attitude. Make sure it's at least 40 words because uh, it makes it more likely to show up in searches. Uh, include any specialities in there. You know, those keywords will show up in searches as well. You know, what are your specialisations? What areas have you focused on? Talk about your experience and talk about what your goals are for the future. Once you've done your summary, the next section is to go on to skills and education. Right, you, we recommend that you include a minimum of five skills. Uh, the more, the better. Uh, the more skills that you can add, the greater the chance is of you being contacted. Uh, also include uh, the schools that you attended uh, any, and any other training that you've done or certificates that you've achieved. Additional information. So LinkedIn offers the opportunity to add a variety of interest to your profile. So for example, hobbies. So you might like making things or have an interest in you know, working on the land, you know, doing um, conservation projects and so on. So hobbies can sometimes translate into skills. Uh, for example, a hobby of building a model plane could translate into intense attention to detail. So your interests might actually catch the eye of a recruiter. So don't be afraid to show what you like doing when you're not working, because that gives the uh, recruiter or employer um, a greater insight into the type of person you are and what you potentially uh, are capable of. Additional information. When you're typing up your LinkedIn profile, again, just like a resume, double check it for accuracy, uh, grammatical errors, uh, edit it, check it again, all right? Get somebody else to proofread it. It's really, really important. There are no errors in it at all. Remember, you are on a professional platform, displaying your profile, your career, your personal profile, it needs to reflect professionalism. And that means how you set out your LinkedIn profile, the, um, uh, and being free of errors is really important. You can create a personalized URL for yourself. And then once you've created your profile, you can start building a network and try and update it regularly. Okay, so what we've done in this video, in this short video, is just give you some tips to get started. One would not expect your LinkedIn profile to be very detailed at this stage in your career, your education, but remember, it's a starting point. It's something you will add value to as time goes on. So do go back to your LinkedIn profile uh, on a regular basis. And as you develop your skills, um, uh, take on more work experience, take on new interests, 
um, make sure that is actually reflected in your LinkedIn profile. So to get started, that's the web uh, address that you need to go into. So www.linkedin.com forward slash uh, and then off you go. So may I wish you all the very best with that. Uh, and uh, if you have any queer queries, please don't hesitate to contact uh, the careers team on careers at monashcollege.edu.au. So that's careers at monashcollege.edu.au. Right. Thanks for joining us. Uh, and that's uh, it for now. Uh, look after yourselves and uh, see you soon. Bye.